Hey guys, what's up? Happy New Year. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool model that I recently designed. Check it out. It is a propeller. And this is actually called the Ultimate Propeller um, Flicker. Because check this out. I'm going to do it with this one right here. Um, see? It is a propeller and it's a flicker, but it's not only a flicker. Check this out. If you hold it in between your fingers like this, and if you blow, it can spin like that. And what's also cool about it is that if you um, unfold here, I'm going I'm to do it with this one right here. Um, if you unfold here, like this, and unfold here, it can be an envelope and you can stick something inside. Well, that's kind of big, but yeah. <laughs> See? It's an envelope like that. You can stick something inside like that. I can't really close it because this that thing is too big, but yeah. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And um, it's also a flicker. Check this out. <laughs> oh yeah, just like that. All right, want to learn how to fold it? Ready, set, here goes. Oh, and one more thing. Um, this model also spins. See, just like that. Okay, want to learn how to fold it? Ready, set, here goes. So for, um, for this model, I'm going to use a six inch square of Kami. Um, you could use a sheet of printer paper cut square, but then you won't have the propeller on it. So if you are using a printer paper cut square, um, you really need the color one side, all right? That way you'll, you'll have a propeller. Okay, so um, since I want a green flicker with a white propeller on it, let's begin white side up and let's fold in half. Try to make very precise folds and crease sharply. We're making a fish base. And unfold and fold in half this way. Like this. And unfold. And now fold this edge to the crease. And go all the way across like this. You could just fold it up to the crease if you want, but now I'm just going to go all the way across. <laughs> okay, now unfold and fold this edge to here. Like this. Thank goodness 2020 is over. <laughs> yep, I'm glad. Alright, now unfold. And now we're going to rabbit ear it. So we're going to make these two folds at the same time. So like this. And let this point stick up. So let's see how 2021 goes. I hope it's good. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay. And fold it down like that. So just fold it like up and down like that. Okay. And now we're going to repeat all that on this side. And I'll actually fast forward this part. Well, no, maybe, maybe not. Okay, just like that. So um, now um, make it here. I'm gonna make it brighter. Okay, so now we're gonna do is um, we're gonna take these two points and we're gonna fold them to the center like this. So here we go. And yeah, make sure that this flap is on the left right here and this one's on the right. Like this one's facing the right. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna form the propeller. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this up right over this edge. Like that. Alright. And just just fold it up, just fold that top layer over like that. And um we're also gonna squash right here. So um <clears throat> we're gonna squash fold this and you want this point right here. Uh you get a pointer. 
So you want that point to align with that edge in the middle. Like that. And creep sharply. And now we're going to fold this up right in between these two points. Like that. And there's one blade of the propeller, and we'll round it out in a minute. Alright, let's do um, this one first. Okay, so, um, this is the, the other blade right here. Just take the top layer, the raw edge. <laughs> well, they're both raw edges, but yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> so fold it over this folded edge. And make that fold sharp. And squash so that um, this point aligns with the edge in there. Just like that. And fold this up in between these two points. Like that. And crease sharply. Okay, um, now um, we'll actually round out the propellers in a minute after we do this step. So um, we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to take, well actually no, we're going to go ahead and round them. Round, we can go ahead and do it right now. Okay, so um, we're going to do is we're going to fold this point in to taste. It doesn't matter how much you fold it in. We're just rounding them to taste now, so yeah. You can really shave them however you want. And you might actually like them like that. That's the simple version. So rounding them is really optional. <laughs> and um, same with the sides, too. If you don't want to do this, then you can skip to the next step. But if you do want to do this, then here's how we're doing it. Fold those points into taste, however much you want, like that, and repeat here. Like that and the side. See? Just like that. Okay, and now um, let's do this step now. So we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this up, and we're gonna anchor the fold at that point right there. And um, you want this edge to align with this edge right here, like that. And really try and round round it out right here, so that way it doesn't get all crumbled up in there. Just kind of put your finger in there, like yeah, like that. And same with this side. So we're going to anchor it at that point right there. And you want this edge to align with this edge. I like this model. I think it's pretty cool. Another propeller. <laughs> yep. I taught some propellers in the past. <laughs> okay. And um, unfold. And now this is, this is probably the most difficult step. What we're going to do is um, we're going to open here. Well, it's not that tricky though. But what we're going to do is we're going to open here. And... We're gonna um, just just open it like that, and we're gonna fold this in like that. But we're gonna tuck this point under this flap right here, just like that. See? And you can refold that, and um, make sure that um, this is on top like that, and it's on top of right here <clears throat> like that. And you can just reclose this right here. And we're going to just push right there, just kind of indent it like that. And just reclose it up, just like that. That's kind of tricky. Hope you can do that. If not, then you have another try on this side. So um, let's unfold here and unfold the flat partially. And just open everything up like that. Refold this like that on the crease. Make sure it's underneath this flap here. You can go ahead and reclose this right here. Put the propeller blade back on top of it. And same here too. Like that. Now reclose this. Stick that on top. And just push down right here. And reclose it. However it recloses is fine. See? Notice that the edges align right here. 
if they don't align, that's right. But yeah, just however you can close it like that. Okay, just like that. Now just crease everything sharply. We're done, by the way. Yep, the model's complete. <laughs> all right, so um, if you like it like this, then you're all done. But um, so um, I'm gonna show you how to put some inside. So um, what you do is you have to open the flap again, and we're gonna open the flap again. And let's see what should I put inside. Mm, trying to find some that's small enough. Just give me a second here. Okay, so let's stick two pennies inside. Okay, let's stick them inside just like that. And you can re-close it. Yeah, make sure the pennies are not in the way in there. So we can reclose that flap. There you go. See? Just like that. <laughs> okay. See? So it's, an, it's a nice envelope. It's like a change envelope so you can put like coins inside. See? It's like that. Or if you make it big enough, you can probably use it for dollar bills. But yeah. Alright, let me take the coins out so we can do the next step. Well, I'll show you what to do in a minute. <laughs> okay, now let me refold this here. <laughs> okay, just like that. Now I'm going to show you how it flies like a flicker. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, so to make it fly like a flicker, I'm sure you know what to do, but um, just in case, um, you hold it like how I'm doing, like this, you just hold it like that. So um, use your index finger and your thumb to hold that corner, and you use your other index finger to give it a good flick, just like this. Oh yeah, that was good. Okay, now I'm going to tor I'm gonna <laughs> flick it towards the camera. Oh. <laughs> It went, it went that way. Oh yeah, just like that. Oh, <laughs> and I lost it. <laughs> okay, but I have another one right here. This is the one I showed in the intro, I, th I think. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make it in, into a table sp spinner. So make it spin on the table. So here it goes. All right, so if you want it to spin on the table, um, like this. Then all you have to do is you just have to um, fold it in half both ways. And there's already existing creases, so crease here and here. So it should be pretty easy. So just like this. Make it sharp. And now fold it in half the other way on the existing crease. Like this. And now just make those two folds at the same time. So it um, makes a point right there for it to spin on. And we're done. Oh yeah, that spins pretty well, like that. See, just like that. And um, what I also want to show you how to do is um, to hold it in between your fingers like this and make it a blow a spinner. So here's how to do it. Okay, so you just hold it like this and you blow on this part right here. Oh, let me try that again. See, just like that, and it'll spin. It might, it might um, be kind of tricky at first to make it spin, but yeah. But it, it, it's kind of satisfying when, when it spins like that. But yeah, I'll do it one more time. See if I can make it spin. Oh, yeah, just like that. And be careful so it doesn't fall out of your hand too. There, maybe one last time. There we go, just like that. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope you guys um, enjoyed folding this model. And oh, I want to I want to um, tell you one more thing. I'm not gonna really show it to you though because um, it's it's kind of tricky to do, and I might I don't really want to fail on it on the video. But yeah, but um, but I'll I'll show you how to I'll tell you and show you how to do it though like this. So um, you can make this model boomerang too. Um, you just hold it just like you're holding it like a flicker like I just showed you, but you have to tilt it upward like that. You have to tilt it upward and um, when you make when you flick it and when you flick it it comes back too i was playing with that last night and yeah i'm gonna try and do it right now and it just came back to me <laughs> yep so it flies like a boomerang too
that's a, a bonus one. All right, hope you guys like this model, and comment, rate, and subscribe, and Happy New Year. All right, see you guys later.